All right, so I am going to come and show another way that I do some acrylics here. So this is just a circle one with a paw that I was asked about doing, um, a badrio. So for this one, I'm going to use some chunky glitter. So I will just peel the protective wrap off. Um, I, most of the time, will use Mod Podge. Uh, today I'm going to use some UV resin because I am going to be using some Southern Belle. It's a very pretty white uh, and fine chunky mix. This is from Mr. Nola's. Um, I tend to shop local for my glitters because I do like to see them. So for the acrylic, I'll come sand it down a little since I'm going to be using resin. I don't normally sand mine um, if I'm just going to be doing Mod Podge. I've never really had much of an issue with it popping off if it drops if I use Mod Podge. But I have had them drop and had the resin pop off if I've done the resin. So now I tend to go ahead and sand. I'm going to bump out a little here. So, um, I'll apologize. Um, kind of in a mess here because we had Hurricane Ida come through earlier this year and my little craft room in my main house got water. So I had to take everything out. Um, we didn't realize it till like October that I got water. So it's been a mess. So my craft room's torn apart. So I have a few things in here while I try to figure out where the water's coming from. So I'm gonna come get a little alcohol and I'm going to clean it up, get any of the little dust and stuff off. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get gloves on cause I'm gonna come put a thin coat of UV resin and then sprinkle my glitter onto it. Um, that's what I like to do because I tend to lots of times if I put the glitter and mix it and then put it on my acrylic, I find it pulls away quite a bit from the sides. Um, so I tend to put a thin coat if I'm going to put my chunky down. So I'm going to use my little... So I'll just put it right over this and then I can put it on that after. So I'll put a little bit on and then I will actually just use my finger to spread it and it gets a little messy. But I'll coat it with the UV using my finger. And then see it's all coated. So I'll put it down, then I will ditch the gloves. Then I will come in and sprinkle. And then I will do another coat. It kind of depends. I might use the UV again. I might use Mod Podge. It all depends. And then I will just come in and kind of push it in from the sides too. That way, I don't have any rough edges. And then I'll push any of the ones that are popping up down. And then for this particular one, I'm just going to put some more UV on top. And then I will put a thin, um, a fine coat. So that's that. So I will go ahead and cure this and I will be right back. All right, so that's out of the UV lamp. So I'm gonna put another coat of UV on and then I'm going to use Alibi Junior, which is an ultra fine um, glitter, also from Mr. Nola's. So I will do the same thing put some on. It might take a little more just because it is over a chunky glitter. And then I will sprinkle my fine glitter over it. And that's just to fill in any of the holes that are there that the chunky glitter might not have gotten to. I 
think I've gotten everywhere. So let me ditch the gloves again. And I will come make it my chunky out that way. Hopefully I don't contaminate my alibi too much. I give it a little shake to kind of hopefully coat a little bit there. Then I'll throw it underneath my lamp and I will clean up and I'll be back. All right, so that's under the UV lamp with the ultra fine. So now I'm going to come put just resin. And then I will cure this. And this is the back of my acrylic for a badrio. And I will just make sure that it is covered everywhere and then I'll hit it with my torch or my lighter in this case. I don't tend to use a torch on UV resin. I tend to burn it. Whereas I've never had any problems with my lighter. So I will throw this back underneath the lamp and I'll be back. All right, so that's the UV resin added on top and it's smooth, so I will go ahead and do the front. You can take an X-Acto knife to clean up any rough edges on the outside, get any excess off, um, just to make it definitely cleaner. And then that's the front with the chunky and some of the other mix. Um, I tend to go ahead and hit it also this way to cure the resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it and throw it underneath the lamp to expose this side. And it's just in case any of that UV didn't get hit, it's gonna go through and hit from this side. And that's just my preference. I don't know if other people do it, but I do. So I will go ahead and hit that. And while that is curing, I will go ahead and start getting my little decal ready. So I lots of times do um, interchangeable badge reels, but this one was a request and I was told it didn't have to be. So I don't guess I'll make it interchangeable. So I'll do a basic badge reel with it, but I'm only gonna show the topper and how I do it. Um, if you wanna see how I do interchangeables, I do have a video on that. All right. So that's that. Um, I mostly do magnets, but I do have um, snaps also that I do. So I tend to get a little area stuck down. Beep. That way I can burnish it down at an angle and hopefully not get too much for air bubbles. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good.
Okay, so I'll go ahead and put my resin over that. And then normally I will use um, painter's tape on the back, but like I said, I don't know where everything is for my craft room. So I am going to try not to have overflow if I can. So I'm just gonna have to be a little more careful with it that it doesn't run off the edges. So just spread it around and hopefully I won't have it go off the sides to catch the back because then I will of course have to redo the back. But I have found that painter's tape works. Um, I've tried the Elmer's glue. I didn't really like it. I have tried latex but like some people said, some people with a latex allergy. Um, I don't find any of it works perfect. Uh, when I was doing latex, I was using it, but then I was washing it really well afterwards before I attached any of my magnets or snaps to it. Just to make sure I got any latex off. Pop that bubble. So hopefully I don't have spillover. I have a divot there. And I will look from different angles, get low, get on the same level with it to see if I have any divots or anything in it. Because every once in a while I will miss a spot and then have to go back and put another coat on just because I missed a little spot with the resin. It happens. Easy enough to fix. Alright. Hit this. Oh, huh. I actually think I have glitter in it. I do, I do. So I will hit it again with the lighter. And I will just check it again. Looks like I got everything. So I will go ahead and cure that and I'll be back once it's cured. All right, so that's my little paw topper and I will glue that onto a plain old badge reel. So that's the front of it. And then that's the back. And then that's the um, Alibi Junior was the ultra fine glitter that I used and Southern Bell was the chunky mix which it's very pretty it's one of my favorites for that have a chunky um, but yeah so both my glitters were from Mr. Nola's which is based out of New Orleans they have some great mixes um, so if you ever want to check them out definitely it's worthwhile um, so that's that. So this was just a quick tutorial in my torn up craft room. So if y'all are interested, I can show y'all the craft room once I get it back together because I am going to be painting in it and everything to get it ready. So I will catch y'all later.